What is going on ladies and gentlemen, how you guys doing today? We are back with a new series on the channel that I'm very excited to bring to you guys. Today we're going to be talking about timelines. Now this is going to be a new series that I bring to you guys. If you guys don't know, in the horror world there's a lot of timelines. And by that I mean there's a lot of movies that try to just do a reboot to a movie. So they start a whole brand new timeline just for that. I'm very excited to be bringing this new series to you guys because honestly I feel you guys will relate to a lot of the timelines. Some people like other timelines better than some uh, timelines. And just because to get into the spirit of this movie that opens this Friday as of this recording, uh, we're going to be talking about Halloween's timelines. Now with timelines, we're going to be talking about, uh, kind of pick your own path of how you want to see these timelines, what is your favorite timeline out of these movies, and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's just get this video started. Starting off with the main timeline that we see a lot, which is Halloween 1 and 2. That is the main uh, timeline when they originally got made. Those were the two first movies in the timeline. John Carpenter wrote and directed both of those movies as well as produced it with Deborah Hill and uh, those are the most those are the two most iconic Halloween movies of all time um, I think it honestly is probably the two best ones uh, in my opinion so yeah with one and two those are gonna be the same night uh, as far as the movies go it's supposed to be taking place on the same night of Halloween night in Haddonfield Illinois now um, after 1 and 2 happened, uh, John Carpenter didn't plan on making any more. He kind of kind of called quits for that and he wanted to make a Halloween an anthology kind of movie where every Halloween movie was a different Halloween tale that took place on Halloween night. Um, and that was a perfect example of what happened with Halloween 3 Season of the Witch, which we see is, an, is a cult trying to kill a bunch of kids with these silver shamrock masks. They had the skeleton, the witch, and the pumpkin. And after they triggered the commercial, the chip in the back of each mask would turn their uh, head into mush and a bunch of insects would come out and end up killing the people around them. With that being said, that movie is kind of its own movie so it has nothing to really do with the Halloween timeline. Um, as far as Halloween Easter eggs go in that movie though, they do show like they're going to be playing the first Halloween on Halloween night as kind of like a little marathon. So that was pretty cool to see. So that tells you that in that universe, Halloween is just a movie. So you got Halloween 1 and 2, which is its own timeline. Then you got Halloween 3, which is its own kind of timeline. Uh, and then 4 through 6 timeline, it uh, branches off from Halloween 1 and 2. And it tells you about Michael Myers' niece. Now, Michael Myers' niece is um, in, these, uh, in these next three films. And Laurie Strode is supposed to be dead in these films. So we see that... Um, this these three films are based off a cult and they try to make Michael Myers uh, of course like almost the leader of this cult and um, honestly Halloween just went somewhere completely different four through six are not my favorite type of movies but um, like four I can barely do and five and six it's just it went somewhere else um, which I don't really kind of like to watch uh, but so yeah so it's one and two and then four through six which were kind of their own timeline then they wanted to reboot the series yet again with the h2o timeline so we got h2o 20 years later in halloween resurrection are branched off one and two um so and that brought back the return of laurie strode where she's been gone for 20 years in hiding changed her name has a son etc etc so we see that uh you know laurie strode gets confronted with Michael Myers again and then ultimately ends up killing him which we thought she killed him but the guy that she actually killed was a paramedic and uh, just got his uh, vocal uh, cords kind of just crushed so he couldn't talk or anything so he couldn't warn Lori that that was Michael Myers which is revealed in Halloween Resurrection at when he which is revealed in Halloween Resurrection when Laurie Strode chops Michael Myers' head off, which is actually the paramedic. Um, in Halloween Resurrection, we see Laurie Strode has gone insane, or they think she's insane. Um, but Michael Myers comes back to the asylum to try to finish what he started in H2O and ends up killing Laurie Strode when he tricks her again when she tries to hang him. So, 
that sets off a whole kind of series of events. And then the rest of the movie, honestly, just does not have anything to do with the Halloween timeline. It's just Michael Myers being Michael Myers and killing people. So that's where I always tell people Halloween Resurrection literally has nothing to do with the Halloween timeline other than the beginning. The beginning, after the beginning, everything else is just a Michael Myers killing frenzy. So that was cool. Then, if you really want to go further into a reboot, they rebooted the series 1 and 2 by Rob Zombie yet again and this time it gave us more backstory of why Michael Myers is the way he is, why he went psychotic and then um, we see a more darker, more sinister Michael Myers in these films. So honestly, um, the franchises have been rebooted so many times. The timeline for Halloween is probably the most confusing and messed up timeline out there. So you got one and two are their own timeline, then one, and one two, four through six are their own timeline. One, two, H2O, and Halloween Resurrection, its own timeline. Uh, three is its own separate movie. And then Halloween's one and two directed by Rob Zombie are their own reboots and in their own timelines as well. Now, this new film that's coming out that's heavily being uh, titled Halloween 2018, which is honestly, it's just being titled Halloween, but a lot of people are calling it Halloween 2018. It's supposed to just branch off 40 years later from the very first film. So that's another timeline that they just set up. They scrapped everything else and just went straight from the first film uh, 40 years later. So they're taking away the timeline of Laurie Strode and Michael Myers being brother and sister. So that never existed. And they even mentioned in the trailer that that's just a myth people started. I'm very excited for this next Halloween movie and I cannot wait. I've heard nothing but good reviews by it so far. It comes out this week as of this recording. I got my tickets for Thursday at midnight. So expect to see a movie review of that next week. And without further ado, people, that is going to be the end of this video. Thank you for joining the Madhouse. And if you're not part of the Madhouse, you can always join by hitting that red subscribe button and clicking that bell notification to let you know when I put up a video at all times. Make sure to put a thumbs up on this video. Leave some comments below what you guys think of the Halloween timeline. I know it's very confusing, but it is... <laughs> It's been going on for 40 years, so you, you just kind of got to live with it. Um, if you guys like this series also, leave some comments below and see what other timelines you guys would like to explore. I am always looking out, wanting to see other timelines that you guys want to explore and see. That is going to do it, folks. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.